perfect for you. Another update on this Lifey Po 4 pack. A few days ago I posted a video saying that it was all in and running happily and nothing to report. Now I do have something to report. This group here has gone way over voltage. These run nominally at 3.2 volts and maximum 3.6 volts but when I got home from work just now this was at 4.02 volts which is very scary. They're not hot at all but I'm not at all happy with that. One of the experiments that I was wanting to work out from this pack was could I treat it the same way that I treat the um, 18650s which is when you run these without a BMS um, as long as they are reasonably well sorted beforehand they do not drift that far out of whack they seem to take care of themselves pretty well. This pack on the other hand uh, is not cooperating at all so um, that's freaking me out. I'm going to discharge that now to a safe level. I've disconnected it from everything else and I'm going to get myself a BMS that will run on, on this. Once I've got a real BMS working on this then I have to decide whether or not I want to risk plugging it back into the rest of the system or maybe use this pack perhaps for the go-kart and just have it kept separate from everything else. I'm a bit more nervous about this now. And if you're wondering how am I going to drain this individual cell, I have just simply wired up um, across this cell uh, directly to the element from an old hairdryer and currently it's running from here around one loop to here and it is ever so slightly warm in fact, how warm is it? it is... it is 19, 19 degrees? 20 degrees? Celsius, which is what? that would be... 70 Fahrenheit, so not very hot at all. And I was about to measure the current going through it with my multimeter. Then I remembered that last week I managed to blow the 10 amp fuse that runs inside this multimeter. And I don't have a 10 amp fuse to replace it handy. I've only got 15 amp fuses. And it's so tempting to put a 15 amp fuse in this 10 amp circuit and then this would work as long as I didn't go over 10 amps. If I went over 10 amps I might damage the rest of the circuitry in here. Um, and I know if I put a 15 amp fuse in I'm definitely going to forget about it and then eventually blow it. So I don't want to do that. So uh, I'm going to resort to Ohm's Law which says uh, volts equals current times resistance or current equals volts over resistance. Uh, so what I did was quickly measure the voltage across here and it turned out to be 3.75 volts and I measured the resistance and that happened to be, so the volts was 3.75 volts over the resistance was 21 ohms 21 ohms and it turns out when you do the maths on all that you get um, 0.6 amps running through that so not too severe but enough to start pulling it down it's down to 3.67 volts um, and it's been uh, 20 minutes now um, I don't want to drain this too fast because I'm nervous about what the hell's going to happen. So 0.6 of an amp is, is quite good. I could pump it, I could bump it up. Let's bump it up a tad, a teeny bit. Yeah, I still can hardly feel that. Let's bump it up some more. Come on. 
Yeah, it's pretty mild, whatever it is. I'm probably only up to an amp drain. So, um, that's good. It's a very simple variable resistor, effectively. Um, this is coming down, which is good, not too fast. So, um, I shall carry on. I'm just looking to see if there's any obvious puffy cells. And it almost looks like this outside cell might be getting a wee bit puffy. This one here. Um, you can see it's denting, which is not a good sign. How does that compare to this one here? Yeah, see that? There's no sign of any puffiness whatsoever. Um, so I think I have at least one bad cell, and it's possible that that over voltage experience has damaged the whole group. Yes. Not good. They're not getting warm at all, so that's at least something. I'm going to take it all the way down to 3.30 and then take off the load. And I imagine it will bounce back a bit, but it shouldn't bounce back beyond 3.6. So it's back in the safe-ish zone, even though it's had a terrible time. If I was being super cautious, I would take this outside and leave it on a block of concrete or some, or put it in a fireproof container. And I'm thinking I will probably do that just because there's no point in risking just having it lying around. So I think I might put it somewhere where if it does explode it won't cause any harm. Well, I'm running out of time now, so I might just leave it at 3.36 and pull this out and go and put it somewhere where it can rest in peace. Hmm. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Cheers.